Hi, I'm Ksenia Trukova. Tonight they celebrate an old Christmas Eve in Ukraine and in Russia. It's a Christmas according to the old Julian calendar. Yesterday, the Moscow Patriarch Kirill, the head of the Russian Orthodox Church, called for a ceasefire in Ukraine over Orthodox Christmas. Right after that, Putin ordered a 36-hour Ukraine ceasefire. In Kyiv, they called it hypocrisy. In this video, I want to analyze the statement of the Russian Patriarch Kirill and the situation in general. So first, Let's read the statement together. I, Kirill, Patriarch of Moscow, appeal to all parties involved in the internecine warfare with a call to cease fire and establish a Christmas truce from uh, 12 of uh, January 6 uh, to midnight of January 7th, so the Orthodox people can attend services on Christmas Eve and on the day of the Nativity of Christ. First of all, let's look at the words he uses. He uses the expression internecine warfare. This definition has been used in the Russian media since 2014, when the Russian invasion in Donbass started. Since they were constantly denying their presence in Ukraine, they always called it a civil war, civil conflict, or internecine warfare. This definition is supposed to hide the truth about uh, the conflict. Using those words, the Russian patriarch wants to say that Russia is still not responsible for anything. According to him, Ukrainians created that situation and uh, they are the only ones guilty. At the same time, he says all parties involved. And it's important. On the one hand, this phrase is supposed to show people that uh, there is no black and white, that uh, as in any conflict, uh, there are sides and each of them has its own truth. On the other hand, uh, by using the word parties, he probably wants to point at the Western countries. According to Russia's version of reality, the West used Ukraine to start the war. The patriarchs uh, and Putin's call on ceasefire starting January 6 is also important from the point of view of Russia's attitude towards the old religious calendar and towards the new one. Russia's officials and Russian state uh, propaganda were always presenting the new calendar as a symbol of the Western world and its bad influence. Russia Russian church doesn't want to switch to the new calendar and celebrate Christmas and Easter with the rest of the world. They present it as keeping Russia's great traditions. They say that uh, Russia is the only one who holds on to its roots and uh, it saves the world from degradation and decay. They didn't call on ceasefire on December 24th or on New Year's Eve, but they're doing it now to show that only Russia's reality, Russia's calendar, Russia's traditions matter. Although in Ukraine the Orthodoxes still celebrate Christmas on January 6th, uh, the discussions about switching to a new calendar are very active. I will also add uh, that this situation shows us that uh, the Russian Patriarch Kirill is a technical figure. He is not a real spiritual leader. He has said enough to openly support that war. And now he is talking about the ceasefire because he is just a broadcaster of Putin's will. And yes, this is nothing but hypocrisy because Russia continues to bomb Ukraine even now when you are watching this video.